Okay, today we're going to be talking about the SDT-8C442 new X-Pan range of PTZ cameras. This camera is overwhelming with features. It has been such an enjoyment to test this camera. Now, the reasons that we're gonna go into today are very different than our previous videos. You know, it's not just about, you know, panoramic lenses and 42 times zoom lenses. This camera has some incredibly new, unique abilities that's gonna hit the UK market and just change absolutely everything. Okay, let's take a look at what we're actually looking at. So first, let's start at the top. So we have two megapixel panorama lens. Now, by definition, panorama is the ability to see more. With a combination of two panorama lenses, that creates a combined effort of a 180 degree view. Now, on the detail lens, this one is based at four megapixels. And of course, as you see, comes with the wiper. It has a considerable amount of infrared and active deterrent white light illumination. Okay, now on the two panorama lenses, panoramic, then of course we in fact actually have white light illuminators with a illumination strength of 30 meters. On the detail lens, the infrared is in fact actually 300 meters. Okay, now a brand new crazy feature to such a powerful camera is the fact that it can now do 512 gigabytes SD card in the camera head. There is no other camera that goes up that high. So of course, as of which we can record to the SD card. We did a video previously about ANR, automatic network replenishment. We know that the actual MVRs and cameras have a combined efforts of 12 hours synchronizing back from SD cards to recorders. And now the fact that we can do 512 gigabytes is massively overwhelming. This camera has four gigabytes of read-only memory. It has one gigabyte of RAM. In fact, when you break it down, it has four gigabytes of read-only memory with one gigabyte of RAM just for the panorama stroke panoramic lenses and four gigabytes and one gigabyte of RAM just for the detail lens. Okay, this following feature takes the prize out of all of them. In this case here, this is a 36 volt camera and of course obviously it terminates to a UK 3 pin plug. Now during my days of installation then of course having to do mains electricity on a commercial application was probably more paperwork than I did actually installations. This camera is our first brand new POE++ camera and to make this camera function with all of our brand new features we only need this, a standard network cable. We plug that into our PoE++ port and then of course our camera will be fully functional within a few moments and of course ready to use. This is a game changer. Having to use 36 volts on some installations can be sometimes a hassle factor, a pain point. That is all a thing of the past. Now we can just use a simple network cable to power such of a big camera. This will change the market. Now, if you were not aware, we do actually have PoE++ switches. So I actually can use this switch to be able to power this camera now. Whenever you're getting your switch, just make sure that you do have those red ports on the actual front of the actual switch. These red ports indicate PoE++. Okay, now let's go talk about these lenses again. So let's start with the panorama lenses. Now on these particular lenses, these are not fixed. They may look like they are, but they're not. These are in fact actually lenses that can move between five degrees to minus 17 degrees. They can in fact actually reduce the blind spot below the actual product. The detail lens, of course, obviously can do the complete 360 degrees. do minus 30 looking up and of course obviously 90 degrees looking straight down. Now this is an active deterrent camera so of course obviously opposed to Teok this one is white light illumination plus siren. You are under surveillance. Okay to finish off the features of the product. So of course there's two types of different features for this camera. There's independence, meaning that the actual cameras independently work, or there's linkage, which means that one camera is relaying to another camera the actions that you should be taking, okay? We have three major AI features built into the head of this camera. The first one is the big one and best one, 
video metadata, the studying of the vehicles, the studying of the, the face details, the studying of the clothing being where, you know, study if you have the hat on, the backpack on, okay? So video metadata, that is a, a most powerful AI feature. Then of course, obviously the good one, perimeter protection, keep your device safe, such as linkage mode, where the panoramic camera tells the detailed lens where to look. And then of course, finally, face detection with aptitudes. That's getting all of those details, glasses, beard, hat, so on and so forth. So three major AI players in the head of the camera. Okay, as you saw today, that was a massively impressive demonstration. This camera, it's going to be the best. It has everything that we need. PoE++, uh, four gigabytes of RAM, 512 storage, 180 degrees, panoramic, panoramic, white lights, 42 times optical zoom, 300 meters of IR, active deterrent, wiper, all of the AI features that we possibly need. It's a most excellent camera. To find out more information, there's a link below on the CC address, follow that. And then of course, for more great details about the XPAN range, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell. All the best.